Hey guys, how you doing? This is Former Liberty Graphic Designs and today we're going to be making some canvases. Don't go anywhere. My son asked me to make him a frame with, he said, with Jesus. Jesus' picture on it. And I was like, sure, I can make a canvas with Jesus' picture on it, that's not a problem. And I have to do some other canvases, so I was like, hey, let's just do them right now. This is the, one of the other ones I will, I will be making. This one right here. And then there's two more that, or three more, that more than likely um, I guess I can show you real quick, but uh, I don't feel comfortable showing you these pictures. Just that one. Move that one out of the way. And then there's this other one. And I want to hold it pretty far so you guys can see the pictures. Because I don't feel comfortable showing the, the customers' um, faces, you know, out of respect. However, we're going to be making this from scratch. So I'm going to be uh, gluing and uh, uh, making the actual frame. So I'm using a one by four um, uh, wood. I usually use poplar or this pine. This is really, really, um, I mean, it's very easy to work with. So I use this one and I cut it at a 45. So now I'm gonna glue them together, right? To form the actual frame. Normally at this process, what we do is uh, we'll use all kinds of different ways to glue this I'm gonna be using uh, tie bond this type of glue that I, that's the one I'm gonna be using and normally before I start um, the actual gluing process or the putting the frame together I'm gonna go by and I'm gonna put let me get some of that glue out I'm gonna put glue on all the ends and the reason why we put glue on the ends before we start actually applying all the wood, all the uh, glue, is because the end pieces like this, they're gonna soak up a lot of glue. So I'm gonna go by here and I'm gonna apply glue, just like so. And the wood is just gonna soak up this, this glue. So by the time I'm ready to add, say for example, another coat, the first glue that I put in there already uh, created a, a seal on it. So I would do this on all end pieces, just like this. Just make sure you don't put a lot. Um, you'll see how the wood is actually gonna, again, soak it up. And if I show you one of the other ones that I, you know, that I started with, it's, you can tell it's already it's already disappearing. See like on this one right here. You can still see it, but very lightly. I'm gonna do that on all sizes. So let me flip this over so I can do the other side. And again, just applying a small thin layer of uh, wood glue. And now that the glue has somewhat dried, it didn't dry all the way, but you can tell that, you know, it's not even sticky anymore because you know, on this one we still have some, right? But this one it's almost gone. Uh, if I show you one of these, see, glue is completely gone. And it just created a nice film in there for us to put the actual glue. Normally when we create these frames, we will, we will glue them and then we'll use painter's tape and then that'll hold the, um, the frame together, right? And we let it sit there you know, either overnight or, you know, for a few hours. In this case, I'm not gonna do that because I'm actually gonna be nailing it. So it's a lot faster process. And what I'm gonna be making is I'm gonna be making two 20 by 24s and one 20 by 16 or 16 by 20. 16 by 20, I should say. So we're not gonna be using this tape, but if you, if you wanted to see how we use the tape, like whenever we do those frames, we use that, right? And then we'll take a piece of tape. We'll 
stick it to the back of the of the um, frame and then put it right next to it just like that you apply your glue making sure that your tape is on there apply your glue just like that and let it sit overnight like like that obviously you're gonna do all four corners and the tape is gonna hold the wood in place while you know the glue is getting dry but again in this case I don't need the tape because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nailing them with uh, brats so now that I'm ready I am gonna put another layer of glue then stick it together because right now even if I stick it together it won't it will not stick see it'll come off because the glue in there it's pretty much gone um, just like that and then I'll drive two brats right here two on the other side and that'll hold it just make sure that right now at this point that you have the right pieces you know especially when you're making multiple and as you see I'm using my finger right so if you're using your finger every time I am using just my finger just like this um, I usually keep a, a wet uh, towel napkin whatever so I can get the glue off and I'm gonna I'm gonna put them together making sure that it's nice and flush on all sizes I'm gonna put one on this side too or two just like that and see it's instantly put together so I don't have to wait till the next day or so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this one and if you want to use some sort of clamps so so you're so you know that it's perfectly square you can see like right there I just moved it that so yes if you have clamps that that can hold the 45 for you or a 90 degree angle I should say go ahead and use them they sell different types uh, of uh, 90 degree clamps or uh, straps they sell some straps that will hold it um, for an next period of time you know until you take it off But this process is a lot faster Just like that. Clean my table so I don't get glue on the canvases once I done putting the frames together. So now I gotta make sure that it's square. And then what we do is we'll check from corner to corner and see I got 25 and three quarters. So I should have 25 and three quarters on this side. And I got 25 and five eighths. So that means that I gotta move this frame this way just a little bit until I get 25, three quarters, 25 right there. So now we got all the frames put together. Now what I gotta do is I gotta trim the uh, the canvases. So to trim the canvases, I'm gonna use this cutting board right here. Then all we gotta do is just kind of slide it underneath, line it up where we want to cut it. Just like that. Let's put this away so we can start making the canvases. So in this case, if you say, for example, because I just noticed I missed the nail right there, kind of came through, so I missed that one, right? So for example, you, if you don't have any nails, like if you don't, if you don't want to nail this in, you can also put, uh, put uh, screws, but if you do use screws, you have to countersink the screws. Also, you have to put a bevel right here, so this doesn't show whenever you put the canvases. Uh, I didn't show that part. Um, if you go back to the screw, uh, say for example, you don't have a way of putting a screw or nails, like in this case I use brats, right? You can just do the little tape trick that I showed you at the beginning. Let it sit 
uh, for at least three to four hours to let the glue dry and then apply your canvas. Whenever you apply your canvas, believe it or not, the canvas is gonna do most of the work when it comes to the, when it comes to putting the, the frame together. So, and like, for example, I'm using the, the, the one by fours at the widest. So normally you will see them the other way, right? The skinny side, uh, usually that's normally how you see it. I like to do it this way because that makes the canvas look, let me kind of put it right here, makes it look very thick. So it gives it a little extra, um, what do you call it? A little extra, uh, it makes it look a little more beefier. So that's why I stand them like that. So now, uh, let's say for example, for, for example, this one was 20 by 24, right? So if we measure this right here, you'll see it's 24 inches. <laughs> you don't even see it, you can't even see it but it's 24 inches right there by 20, right there, 20 by 24. So that means whenever you cut this at 20 by 24, your canvas has to be four inches bigger than your frame. That way it'll wrap all the way around like that. So that means that if this is 20 by 24, my canvas has to be 24 by 28. So and now we can put it together. All I'm gonna do right now is uh, I wanna make sure that my canvas it's right in the center and the re the way i'm going to measure that is just by pulling the canvas around the the frame and making sure that i got the same distance all the way around on the center let's say for example that's right on and right there so i'm going to use one of these staplers you can use if you have a, a pneumatic a pneumatic one you can use that one but I'm gonna use this one. This is, uh, uh, I believe it's a like JT21. Yeah, JT21. And the staple, oh yeah, right there. JT21 and the staples that I'm using are 516s. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure again that I'm center or that my canvas is the same length on both sides. I'm gonna start right in the center. And I'm gonna put a staple right there. Don't put the staples directly um, perpendicular. Make sure that you put them a, a little bit at an angle. Let me pull this a little more. So let your staples at, you know, just like that at an angle. Don't put them uh, par parallel to the frame. If you put them parallel to the frame, it'd be easier for it to, to come off. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put a little bit of tension, not much, just a little bit. It don't have to be super tight. Put a staple there. Then I'm gonna go directly across. I'm gonna go across the frame. I'm gonna do the same thing. Remember, we're working in the center right now. Bring it this way. Put it right in the center like that, put a staple. I want this to go in a little more. You can use this uh, canvas stretchers. Uh, say for example, if you cut it too short, you can grab it and pull it this way. Normally we use this to have them like super tight, but these canvases don't need to be tight. Look, I barely got four staples and it's already on there. So we don't need to be super tight. So the next thing I do is you can either bring another staple, like in between that one staple and the end of the, on the frame, I'm gonna put another staple right there. Make sure it's in all the way. Remember, when you do a staple, let's say for example, I just did that one here, you have to go directly across. Don't start stapling everything. You can do it on one side and then pull the other side. But you want to go, you know, uh, um, staggered. Like on this side, it, my canvas is a little, it's kind of a short, so I can use this one, right? So use it very carefully. So you don't overstretch it. You see, if you overstretch it, you ain't gonna like it. If you overstretch the canvas, your frame itself is gonna bow. So you're gonna have a bow like that you're not gonna like it, it's gonna look kind of funky. So 
that's why I said you do not have to pull a, pull a lot of tension because even this one, it's already getting tension and it's not. I mean, I don't have a lot of staples. On the corners, yeah, the corner's all flopping like that, right? So we're gonna grab the corner, we're gonna pull it in like that. Just like to have that corner nice and straight right there. Sometimes if I have time, I would even round this corner so you have a better um, finish. Put a staple there. Then we're gonna fold this until we get very close to the to the uh, to the corner. Or if you want to bring it all the way up to the corner, that's good. Just make sure you have a nice and tight fit right there. And we're gonna pull it like that. Right here, it's gonna feel like you don't have enough room because you gotta put a staple there, right? We're gonna put a staple there. So then we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Folding in that right there. Grabbing your fabric or the canvas. You're gonna put a staple there. And that's how you finish your corners right there. Right here, we're gonna have, you know, I should have cut this before we did it, but it's okay, I can always go back and cut it. So let me do all four corners so I can show you how we finish up the, so real quick, right here, this is what I will cut it. Come back right here, cut the little corner off, just like that. That way, when I bring the other one, I'm gonna have a nice clean finish right there. like that. Now that I have all my corners done, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go directly in between. From that one staple to the end, I'm gonna pull right in the center, put a, a staple. That one didn't go in there all that good, so I'm gonna put another one. And on this side, we can work all the way across, or on this side, and then we'll move on to the other one. Just don't move on this side, okay? So go across and then pull it from the other side. Otherwise, you're gonna have wrinkles. And you don't want that. So now we're gonna go in the center of that. And pull this one. right here do the same thing so now if you want to if you want to finish it uh, in the back like if you don't want to see this all the staples what you can do is you take some uh, some paper like I sometimes I use the paper that the painters use and then spray it with uh, don't spray this so what you do is take the paper that the painters use, lay it on the table, put your put your, um, your frame like that, mark it all the way around so you know where it's at, and then that spray it with a, a spray adhesive, and then lay this on top, glue it together, flip it over, make sure it's stuck all the way around, and cut it, and that's gonna seal the back so they, you, uh, they won't see it. So now all I gotta do is, uh, Gotta put one of these or two of these deals so they can hang them. So I'm gonna put them at six inches. And that's it. I would put the hardware that way they can hang it. You can tie a string, it goes from here to there, so it's easier to hang it, or you can leave it like this and they can put a a screw and then just hang it from there. So this is gonna be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. It's a pleasure, like always. If you want to see any more videos, just let me know. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye now. God bless you. I'll see you later. Adios.